Now, we all have devices that use AA and AAA batteries. I've got yes. some AA's here. But those aren't regular double A's. No, there is something really unique about these ones, Jeff. They have monster eyelashes? They do. Adorable. They're, well, they're fun for the kids, right? Right. They've got to be fun for the kids. We, we like nickel metal hydride batteries because, one, they carry a good, solid amount of yes. juice. Uh, but, two, they are able to be recharged over and over and over mm -hmm. again. And, you know, with the caveat that we do want you to, when it comes time to get rid of them. Don't throw them in the trash because that would be bad for the environment. How these can be good for the environment is you use them, charge them, use them over and over again, and then e-waste them. Correct. Recycle them. Your city may have like an e-waste program that will help with that because nickel metal hydrides can be bad for the environment if they end up in the landfill. They do yeah. have some chemicals in them that are not good for, for the earth. Um, so that said, these particular batteries can be charged up to 500 times. So you consider, you know, for about uh, maybe a dollar more than what you're paying for your standard um, AA batteries. Uh, you know, it's really not a lot of money to spend. Um, you're getting rechargeable batteries. So, hey, that's cool. We've all got rechargeable batteries. We've all got our nickel metal hydride charger. So what makes these ones special, Jeff? Well, I'm noticing on the package that it shows a micro USB. It does have a micro USB picture on the package you so, are right oh and i'm just noticing that the package is green so it's translucent on our chroma key set <laughs> oh look at that <laughs> special so I'll, batteries i'll try to but but no so these are here. usb charged charging batteries you're right let's get a look okay folks let's see if i can get in there oh they always do this to me what do we see usb cable so with these ones, what's neat, now these are standard nickel metal hydride AA batteries. These ones are 1,000 milliamp hours, and the AAAs are 450 milliamp hours. These batteries, as you can see there, there is in fact a USB micro port. Now, they can be charged in a standard uh, charger. So if you have a nickel metal hydride charger already, great. You can plug these into that and it will charge them mm -hmm. just as a normal rechargeable battery. But sometimes, you know, if you're traveling or whatever, you probably don't always think to bring your charger or it might be a little bit clunky or maybe it's just not convenient or it just makes sense to have something a little more convenient. So these batteries, once they're used up and they come fully charged, um, they come with a USB micro uh, cable and this cable, as you can see, has two micro uh, ends on it uh -huh. and you can, in fact, if you'd like, you can buy a separate cable uh, from the same company. Um, it's oh, called so you Smart charge Tools, all four. And this one has four on it, which is kind of cool too because like I can use this for my phone as well it's not it's usb micro it's universal right? right so all i have to do to charge these with no battery charger handy is i actually can just plug the batteries directly into the cable and then plug this into any usb device like a computer or a wall wart my phone charger whatever it is and then that will charge the batteries for me See, that is amazing. Now, I mean, these are double A's, yeah. but you can also get it in triple A's. That's right. What about C's and D's? These, this particular uh, brand model are only available in A and, uh, and double, uh, okay. pardon me, double A and triple A. Okay. I haven't yet seen the technology in the larger batteries. I would guess, Jeff, that that's because as soon as you get into D, you're looking at like how many milliamp hours would you have to have? I have no clue. A lot, right? You consider that the, a double A has about twice as many milliamps as a triple A. All I know is and they're that not twice as big. All I know is that my kid's Christmas set yeah. train that goes around the tree uh -oh. requires D's? eight D's. <gasps> Well, the, to, and it's to their advantage of to buy new ones because that sucker runs out of juice after about sure. eight hours. So the no really yes whoa yeah. <laughs> So you can get standard D um, nickel metal hydride batteries. Sure. Yeah. But these are different because they have the charging mechanism built into them, Jeff. Right. Um, you have to imagine a D. I'm not, I'm not even sure if, it's, if, the, if it would be possible. Okay. Fair Just enough. because you lose, you know, there, there's the charging mechanism taking up about, uh, you know, a couple centimeters or half an inch. And then this is the actual battery cell itself. Right. From here to here. So with a D cell, you're looking at a lot more milliamp hours. I think you, you'd, you know, as a manufacturer, I'm just guessing. Right. I'm not so, a battery manufacturer. So I, I might have missed it, but how, roughly how many times can you charge these? 500. 
Five hundred. Five hundred per battery. Yeah. And that's and so. At the five hundred mark, is there any indicator that it's just not? Well, with any rechargeable battery, nickel metal hydrides are are an you know perfect example. Uh, but nickel metal hydrides are are basically when I say that they're better rechargeable batteries. So we used to use nickel cadmium, yes. uh, which would not hold a very good charge. They didn't have a lot of milliamp hours, mm -hmm. and when they depleted, they would just die. Uh, nickel metal hydride operate more like an alkaline battery in that when they deplete, so when they start to run out of juice, they, they have a little bit of a, like a, a curve to their right. depletion. So they start to lose power. So in a flashlight, as a perfect example, your flashlight would go dimmer and yes. dimmer and okay. dimmer. So you start to see, oh, my flashlight is running low. I need to plug those in. Right. Whereas with a nickel cadmium, um, your light just will stop turning on. See, what I love about these is because they are just like your double A, you can use them in any of that. I mean, oh, yeah. we've got our Wii remotes. Wii remotes are a perfect example. My yeah, kids all eat batteries the time. in those things. Oh, it's crazy. And they're always asking me for more. Now I can just say, you know, plug in your batteries. And the other thing I found with, with um, <laughs> we also have the, the balance board for the Wii, but we don't use it all the time. Oh, yeah. And what I hate is when the batteries explode. They explode. Happens all the time where you get that acid leak right because you know you might go a couple of months where you're not using it mm. and sometimes the kids don't think to pull the battery so right are these going to have the acid leak any battery mm. if left in a device that is so these could still have that oh any battery okay. will jeff yeah all right um anytime you're going to store something you're going to see this in the manual of any electronic device anytime you're going to store something and not use it for an extended amount of time like a month or more you need to get those batteries out yes. of there yeah. um if if you're if you don't want to take them out and and store them separately. Um, you can just slip a piece of cardboard in between the contacts, just to stop, okay. just to stop them from being able. Because otherwise, you've got a constant flow of electricity. Mm -hmm. Electricity is always moving. Yes. So as as soon as you've got a circuit, which is in the the wee pe pedestal thing, um, it's going to start. It's going to continually draw a little bit of juice, but not enough to power the thing. So right. then it's they're going to explode eventually. So that yeah, right. would be the case with any battery. So my daughter we just learned a lot here tonight. I know, but just because they like they've got the monster mouth. Yeah. I, th I thought they were eyelashes, but no, it's a monster mouth. It's a monster mouth. My, my daughter would love these. She would just go. I might just have to buy some. Uh, you know, throw them in her stocking. And by the way, if you want them, cat5.tv slash smart tools. And I'm gonna tell you tell you it's a little bit of a weird way that they spell their company name. Smart Tools. <laughs> Smart twos. So three O's. <laughs> or think smart and then three O's. LS. There you go. Go to cat5.tv slash smart twos. <laughs> You'll be able to pick those up.